Classrooms where high quality verbal interactions are a key feature are classrooms where there's deep and substantial interaction with learning and with the world. Providing children with opportunities to see an expert language user using both the vocabulary of different disciplines to actually be using language to um, unpack and to uh, build up notions and concepts but also for children to be able to see teachers uh, providing them with ways into the language of learning. The high quality verbal interaction is really important in the early years because it helps to develop the children's oral language skills. I'd like us to have another look at a story we looked at the other day. Do you remember it? What was it called? Russell, Russell the Sheep. Mm -hmm. He tried the hollow of a tree. <laughs> Help me. That, that was, was too creepy. creepy. Have a look at that word. It starts with a K-R-E-P. <laughs> It means the same as scary, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you ever had a time that you couldn't go to sleep? Um, I had a problem and I just laid down with my eyes shut, still, and I was tired and I was yawning and then suddenly I went to sleep. I gave the children the opportunity to practice their story with a partner first of all because a lot of children are very hesitant to answer their answer in front of the whole class to start with so it's less threatening for them to share with a partner and they also then gather more ideas from each other and can build on that. So then when they go to answer the question in front of the whole class, they're doing so with a lot more confidence. What do you think it was that was stopping you from going to sleep that night? Because my brother woke me up in the midnight. In the middle of the night. And do you think you were a little bit worried about him? Yeah. Just that I couldn't get to sleep because I was when my mum told me when I was hot, I said yes, so she nearly put the blanket on me, so she didn't, but when I was cold, I pushed the blankets. You were cold and you pushed the blankets off, or you pulled them up over you when you were cold? Yeah. I help children pinpoint their thinking and, and organise their thoughts by reiterating what they've said and just clarifying with them, is this what you mean? You've told me. X, Y and Z and putting it back into a higher quality flow of words so that it makes more sense and model that back to them so that they're able to understand that and build on it next time. We also need spaces for children to talk, for them to use their language, to practice, to play out and try and see what works and what isn't working within how we might engage.